Hello everyone and welcome. Casey here with Modern Witch Doctor. So I recently had a comment on one of my videos from a new follower that said, what is it that you do and why is it that you do it? And I felt it was probably time to explain to everybody on my channel why it is that I have so many different arenas on my channel. So to start with, I am a very complicated person. Um, when I get a fascination or a passion for something, I take it to the fullest limit. Now, I have a lot of different things that I'm passionate and fascinated with. Um, a great example would be a lot of you don't know that I'm actually a falconer. And this September, I'm going to have some upcoming videos on catching red tails and working with red tails. Now, this is something that fascinated me that I took to the fullest limit. Um, I am a beekeeper, an avid beekeeper. I study apotherapy, which is um, the healing benefits of bee products, including bee venom. So I have a lot of different things that I do that I am going to start incorporating more into my channel. Now, the name Modern Witch Doctor, where does this come from? So, because I have always really, my whole life, had a fascination with plants, um, I also have this strange fascination with bones. So, I'm a bone collector. Um, and I am also, which many of you might not know, a bone caster. So, I do bone throwings. This is a um, witch doctor technique in African culture, but this is actually a Neolithic te technique that many of our ancestors were using. So between the fascination with bones and plants and ancient healing, I earned the nickname Modern Witch Doctor. Now, this of course does not mean that I practice witchcraft. This is just my nickname. Now, with that being said, my entire life, I have had a fascination for ancient ways, obviously, and ancient healing. So it has led me down a road to studying many different arenas of um, ancient and natural healing. Now, examples with this um, of this would be things such as magnetic healing. Um, the earth provides magnetic healing if you lay on her on different positions and different areas. This will actually help realign the magnetic energy within your body. And I will have more videos on stuff like this to start incorporating the um, other healing aspects of earth that we can use. Um, it's not always just the plants, but the plants are a big part of my life. And I wanted to go ahead and tell my personal story of how natural healing essentially saved my life. Now, when I was growing up, I didn't have the best childhood, should we say. And when I was 11 years old, I lost my mother who was shot to death by the police. Now, with this being said, um, I don't hate the police. I don't advocate for um, going against the police. I believe that there are many people in this world that are good people, no matter what the profession. And there are many people in this world that are evil, no matter what the profession. Now, with this being said, um, my childhood did not really get any better after this. And at a very young age, I was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, which is a neurological disorder. I was also diagnosed with OCD, um, hyperactive disorder, and ADD. Now, as a child, there was not a lot of information known at the time about Tourette syndrome. And they started sending me to Johns Hopkins, which is a really well-renowned hospital here in Maryland. And the only doctor in my entire state that even worked with people with Tourette's was a man named Dr. Singer. Now, Dr. Singer actually was also doing his own studies. Um, and to this day, there's still not that much known about Tourette's. And a great example of this would be me and another boy actually became um, guinea pigs or test dummies for the doctor to study medication. And I do believe Dr. Singer ended up writing a book, which in the book, we are the test dummies. Now, by the time I was 16, from 11 to 16, I had been on 23 different medications. This changed who I was. It changed my personality. Um, I became a zombie. I became a completely different person from who I had previously been. 
When I reached about 17, I was done with the medication. I ended up dumping the last of it in the toilet and I started researching and experimenting with natural healing. Um, I started learning about different plants. I even experimented with uh, marijuana and smoking pot to see what was going to help me naturally. Um, I did not want to be on medication the rest of my life. Now, over the years of me experimenting and learning and working with plants that help with neurological disorders, I have actually essentially cured, maybe not cured, but um, minimized my Tourette syndrome. So I'm able to live a perfectly normal life. I do not get my tics anymore. They are not prevalent or controlling in my life as they were when I was a child. Um, for those that actually don't know what Tourette's are, it is a neurological disorder which causes involuntary motions and tics. Tics can be things like shouting out words. It can be blinking your eyes. It can be rolling your shoulders. Um, and as a child, I probably had all of them. And it can create a very miserable life for anybody because not only is it um, embarrassing and we know how cruel children can be, it's also painful. Um, a lot of people don't realize when you blink your eyes a hundred times a minute, um, it becomes painful. So this disorder really affected me for a long time and through nature, I was able to fix it. Now, with that being said, as I said, my mother was killed. I did not live this wonderful life. Um, and for many years, I had a very cold outlook on life, as in life sucks, buy a effing helmet. Now, I can honestly look back at that and be very sad for the person that I was. Um, through not only the earth healing me physically, I have learned so much about the spiritual essences and how it is that life works and basically our journey through life. Now, there were many things with the situation with my mother that were not good, and it was almost essentially for many years, I looked at it as how could this happen to two children? You know, many people, um, damn God or creator or whatever entity that you believe that, you know, how could there even be this entity and have such horrible things happen in life? But I have honestly learned that through life, everything is a lesson. It is how you react to these lessons that make or break who it is that you are as a person. Now, I did not take what happened to me as a child or through my life and take it to make me a, a weak person. I took what happened to me and allowed it to make me strong, if nothing else, a warrior. Um, I do not look back on my life and regret anything. There are many bad experiences and even things that I personally have done that I now understand. And it's all, once again, lessons learned and how it is that we perceive life. Now this spiritual healing, I believe, came from many different things. I believe that it not only came from my connection to the earth, but I also believe it was a big part in my studies. Um, because I have studied cultural and tribal healing from all over the world and have researched and witnessed techniques that have been used for thousands of years with profound results, um, it's really molded the character and my understanding of how the spiritual world works. Now, for many years, I owned a healing center where I did spiritual cleansings and healings. Um, as I said, I'm a bone caster, so I did bone readings for people. Um, we did drumming, uh, sound healing. I actually did a lot of work with the deaf community. So I have taken these spiritual side of Mother Earth's healing and the spiritual side of life and incorporated it into this natural healing. Um, and this really plays a big part into who I am now. Now, although the work, the spiritual work is really behind the scenes anymore, it's not something that I emphasize on. And it's mainly because when you do spiritual healing, okay, this is not a one pill fixes all. And in today's world, that is really what people want. They want this quick fix. They don't want to put in the work to spiritually help themselves. And I honestly just got tired of helping people that did not want to help themselves. Um, one of the other things that came into play with this was I unfortunately became 
one of the only people that people were reaching out to to do home clearings. Um, for those that don't know what I mean by this, this is speaking of entities or spirits or what some call ghosts in homes. Now, although this will be very laughable to some, this occurs, I have seen so much. And from my calculations, what I've seen in the amount of people that I personally know, it is one in five people that has dealt with um, entities or spirits in some sense in one point in time of their life. Now, because Ghostbusters is not on speed dial and most churches won't, um, you know, do this sort of thing anymore, I had become the person that people were reaching out to. And at one point in time, this became so overwhelming for me that I literally did not have time to live my own life because I was doing this all the time. Um, these sort of healings, like I said, they're behind the scenes now. I, I do them for people that reach out to me that usually really seriously need help. But these are not things that I emphasize on so much on my channel. Now, it's not saying in the future I won't. Um, a lot of my followers are probably more into the physical sense of, you know, the plants, the self-sufficiency, the survival techniques, um, living off the land, more so the spiritual. But I may incorporate a few of these videos just to give an idea of who I am in that sense. And this part of me is obviously a big part of my life. So it does correlate to my name in the spiritual sense of being this, um, I suppose, healer on a, on a level. Now, over the years of performing ceremonies, I have been able to capture some pretty crazy images of spirits on camera. From that very day that I threw away my medication, my life changed forever. Now, since that day, I have never looked back. Natural medicine has become the only means of medicine that it is I use. Now, I am very proud to say, as a mother of three, my oldest daughter is 17, my children have never had synthetic medicine. They have never had an antibiotic in their life. And what we cannot fix with the plants, we usually turn to colloidal silver. Um, but that's for another video. So the natural way has not failed me yet. And I'm not saying that one day I may not need allopathic medicine, which is modern medicine. And let's face it, things like surgery and um, childbirth, it is necessary. But there are many, many things that the earth can provide for everyday life and not just that prevention. A lot of illnesses and disease come from our lifestyle. So if we are able to understand how that works and prevent it, this is the step to good health. So now I wanna bring up the self-sufficiency and survival and how this plays a part in my life. So of course, obviously I'm into archeology, span I'm into primitive skills, um, ancient ways, not only healing, but everything ancient ways fascinates me. Now, when it comes to self-sufficiency or self-preservation or even survival, survival, this plays a large role in these sort of techniques. Now, the pandemic is a great example of grocery stores being wiped clean, um, prices have risen to where it's almost becoming impossible for people to afford things, such as wood even. Um, so even if you wanted to build something, it's becoming out of your budget to do these things. Now, isn't it nice to think of having the knowledge, okay, if I need this, I can make this from this plant. I can use this tree for this. I can make this medicine this way. I can make a cooking stove out of this mud. Um, these are all techniques to where it's great level of not only education and archeology, span something that fascinates me, but it's also survival because you ha are gaining that understanding of how to use the earth and use the gifts that you have been given to survive. Now, of course, let's all hope that this does not happen one day and there will always be modern things that you could trade with others and this sort of thing. Um, but let's face it, these items will become rare if something like that happens. And I think the pandemic was really a wake up call for a lot of people in this sense. 
So self-preservation and self-sufficiency, storing your food, drying your food, preserving your food, preserving your medicine is something that has become not only a lifestyle for me, but a business. And I greatly enjoy educating people on these techniques because let's face it, nowadays they call people like me a prepper. When really a hundred years ago to have a root cellar full of canned goods and potatoes and onions and roots was life. It wasn't a prepper or some crazy person. It was just simply life. And sadly, us as human beings, I understand we move to cities, we move away from the country and the land, but these are all just ways of life. This was human life for thousands and thousands of years. So um, this is the reason that not only I um, incorporate it with the primitive skills because it all plays a large role in that, it's self-preservation as a human being. I hope this video answers the question of what I do and why it is that I do what I do. I believe our paths are laid out before us and I have chosen to walk the road that was laid out before me. Life is about experience and I am grateful for every one of my experiences. Until next time guys, stay wild.